everyone, I'm Kelsey, and my channel is all about health, wellness, and positive mindset and using strategies to help you live the, life, the healthier life of your dreams starting today. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to talk about my gym fails, um, what you can do to overcome them, and just kind of some things about them, okay? I'm just going to apologize up front. I don't have any of this on video, but if I did, I would be happy to show you all of it. But I'm going to talk about some of my biggest gym fails because one, it's just freaking hilarious. Two, everybody has one at some part. And three, how can you recover from it? Okay, so some of my biggest gym fails is one time I was setting up for a bench press to start warming up and I didn't realize that my coach had not put weight on the bar yet. So I was sitting there getting ready to go and I was arching and I went to sit up and swing underneath there. Bar came off the hooks, came down and nailed me in the forehead. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing you can do but just laugh at that point. Something else that happened is um, I was uh, in, a, in a bench, in a, not in a bench, I was in a squat rack and I was actually doing pin bench presses. Okay, and a pin bench press is where you set the racks at a particular height, usually about here on the bench press. And I was, um, so you go and you press and then you come back and the bar lands back on the racks. Well, I was going to, to, to like press and I couldn't get it. It was too heavy and I ended up like pressing right onto my face because the bar was just like, just right here. So I ended up putting it right on my face. It's a miracle I haven't had to have a nose job as much as I've hit my head or my face. Something else that happened is I was doing a modification of a pin um, pin squat, which is the same thing as the one thing I did. You set the racks at the bottom of your squat. And uh, uh, I could not, I actually got stuck underneath the bar and I couldn't get like wedge myself out underneath it. That was horrible. Um, there's been one time I was bench pressing and, uh, uh, and I couldn't lift the weight and I, I, it came down onto my chest and I actually couldn't get it off without like trying to rock the weight off and thank God somebody came and helped me get it off my chest and put it back. Um, something else that has happened is I've actually gotten stuck in machines, um, you name it. I've gotten stuck in like hamstring, um, curls, leg extension machines. Um, I was doing, one time I was doing glute, um, glute thrusters in like the leg extension machine and got stuck in there. Um, one of my friends actually had to come and like unhook the pin so that way I could actually get out of the machine. Um, let's see here, something else that happened. Um, oh, I was doing a skull crusher one time, which is where you're actually laying on a bench and you, it, this is a tricep movement and you bring a bar right here and my arms gave out and I nailed myself with um, the easy bar. Uh, yeah, you name it. Um, something else that happened is I was, uh, I was squatting one time and uh, I, I kind of got off balance and I didn't realize that clip hadn't uh, really been attached and the weight slid off the bar and the bar slid off the other side of me. Um, <laughs> something else that's happened, I've done shoulder presses and I've lost a dumbbell and nailed myself on top of my head. Um, I've done like chest presses with dumbbells and lost dumbbells here and there. Um, let's see, oh, I, I broke one of my phones in the gym. I dropped a weight and, and it dropped right on my phone and broke it. Uh, something else that happened is I dropped a plate on my foot. Um, it's a miracle I didn't break it, that one. Um, let's see here, what else have I done? I have misread the weights and made the bar too heavy, couldn't get it lifted up. Um, I put one too much weight on one side and not off of the other and off-centered the bar and it's lifted off of me. I've also put it where there was too little on the bar and all of a sudden I pick it up like it's gonna be super, super heavy and it lightens up and it kind of surprises you. You practically like jump off the floor. Um, the main thing I want to get at is that we all have these moments at some point in our history, no matter how far along in your journey you were all, anybody in this journey has been a beginner. At one point or another, they have been a beginner and they've also made mistakes, okay? So everyone has does it at some point in time, they have made some mistake. Now one thing I want you to remember is that nobody cares when you're in the gym about what you're doing and if they are, 
we don't care what they're thinking because they obviously have something going on with them if they're taking it out on you, okay? So just brush it off if this happens to you and move on from there. Now, if you get hurt, address the issue, take care of yourself, and then come back when you're better. But don't, you know, sit there and well on it. No, seriously, nobody really cares what's going on. A lot of times time people are doing their own thing. They look their own ways. Most people actually would be happy if you asked for a spot, different things like that. So don't let the fact that if you have one of these gym fails or gym mistakes happen to you, deter you from continuing your journey. That's the one thing I wanted you to get from this video is that we've all had some point that this has happened to us. So don't let it stop you from reaching your goals. So I hope this helped you guys. If you guys have any questions or anything else you want me to address, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll catch you next week in my next video. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.